Tell me about your role in the film. I play uh, Graham's partner, David Sherlock, in the film. Um, obviously, um, uh, David knew Graham intimately. I can't claim the same thing. Um, um, you know, I'm also pity, really. I wish I'd known Graham, but I uh, didn't. But it's a wonderful role, and I'm very happy to do it. So how much did you know about the Pythons, and how big a fan were you before you actually took on this project? You know, I remember when I was a, when I was a, a wee lad, uh, I had a Python book, the one with the keyhole in the front, and you can see a woman's breast through it. And that was my first Python experience. <laughs> very titillating, of course. And um, so I knew about the Pythons. To me, they represented uh, horniness and uh, illicit sex, I think, when I was young. <laughs> <laughs> what do they represent now? Oh no, they're obviously now, I mean, they're probably the greatest comedic team of all time. I mean, they just can't be topped. I mean, a, a wonderful uh, uh, body of work and, uh, yeah, I mean, a, a privilege to be part of this and part of Graham's story. Albeit a complete lie, of course, <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'm very happy to be part of it. What did you learn about Graham that you didn't know before taking on the role that you now think, wow, that's quite incredible? Um, yeah, I learned a lot, actually. I learned the fact that he went to Oxford, that he was qualified as a doctor, um, you know, his whole kind of running the gamut of uh, you know his struggles with homosexuality and coming out and and being on the on the booze and all that stuff that he went through in his life and uh, you know and and, and 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 the extremely touching footage at the end with other pythons at his funeral and stuff and and, and you know it's, it was a really a really intimate look into you know the other side of the camera not just the funny stuff that went on but the other stuff that affected his life and so yeah I learned a lot and I think a lot of people will learn a lot more about Graham than they probably know already. So. And did you speak to David at all before you took on his role in the film? No I didn't, no I haven't, I haven't met him actually. I, met, I, think, I, I think I'll meet him tonight and he'll probably be like oh my god you did my voice you're fired. <laughs> too late, too late David I've done it now. No, I, a friend of mine is a guy called Andrew Jackman who did the sound, he did all the sound for the film he actually stars in the film as well he has a role too, he plays himself in it. and, um, and he called me up and said will you come in and do a voice because he knew David and I think he, he thought I had a similar timbre in my voice and uh, went in and did it and uh, and yeah and I think Terry Gilliam heard it and said is that David Sherlock he went no no it's my mate Philip it really sounds like him so obviously it was he, uh, Andre did well in, in picking me to do the role but I was very lucky to get us so. that's quite a compliment isn't it you must be pleased with that yeah and I think it's one of those things that you just think I remember going in and doing it and it was very kind of like off the cuff I was telling some other guys down there it's all kind of a bit impromptu and off the cuff and you kind of think yeah it's a little thing I'm going in to do and I didn't realize it would turn out to be this uh, this huge film with all these 14 animation companies involved in it and a really kind of different approach to filmmaking and animation and and uh, something that, that I think is, is a very special uh, project yeah it's a very have you seen the film yet and how do you feel that your your role fits into it I have I have seen the film I'm fighting with the barriers here <laughs> trying to trip me up um, very Python-esque yeah um, no I have seen the uh, I have seen the film uh, once before and uh, yeah, I think it's a wonderful, wonderful piece, and uh, I've got, I've got a couple of bits in it. I'm not just David; I do some other voices as well, some secret ones. I do, I do, I do a drunken mouse, which was great. I do a Scots uh, party guest. I do a, a Kiwi, a Kiwi uh, airport announcer, and an American bellboy. So I really run the gamut of of the accents. They're all rubbish, but I do. they all sound, they all sound Irish. But you know, never mind. <laughs> it's too late now. I've done it. <laughs>